quadratic equation video number six, number uh, video number five, sorry, and uh, this is number three of uh, sum and the product, video number three of sum and the product. Write the quadratic equation whose roots are minus three and minus five. We need to write quadratic equation and we already know the roots. The roots are minus three and uh, five. And this is very simple because again, if you can check up the previous two videos, the previous two videos about sum and the product, you will see that um, uh, th that we can write any quadratic equation in the form of x squared minus s times x plus p equals zero, where s represents the sum of the roots and p represents the product of the roots when they when they exist, and since they exist because they are given the first root is alpha for example the second root is beta which are minus five, three and five and they are given so what is the sum the sum of the roots is simply we add the roots right which is minus three plus five what is the answer of minus three plus five it's two and what is the product of the roots it's alpha times beta so it is equal to uh, simply minus three times uh, five the answer is minus 15. so how can we write the quadratic equation we can write it on the in the form of x square minus the sum the sum is 2 times x plus the product and the product is minus 15 equal to 0 and that's be it let's go for another example another example says <clears throat> the roots of the equation the roots of equation quadratic equation for sure x square minus 4x minus 9 equal to 0 are alpha and beta they are given that as alpha and beta this is the same example as the same example we did in the previous video uh, find the quadratic equation whose roots are we need to find quadratic equation find another quadratic equation whose roots are 2 over alpha and 2 over 2 over alpha and 2 over beta great alpha and beta here represents the, uh, the roots of this equation Alpha and beta here represents the roots of the equation I need to find. Again, to make difference between this equation, to differentiate between this e equation and the new equation I want to uh, write, I, I, I would like to write it in the form of y squared minus sy plus p is equal minus sy plus p equal to zero. To know how to form this equation is exactly how I did over here. Here we have the roots, we can form the equation. Here we should find the roots to form this equation. Simply, I need to find the sum because it's not given. Sum sub y means of this equation, right? It's 2 over alpha plus 2 over beta. So the answer is going to be, right? Alpha beta as common denominator to add these. Here we multiply with beta, with beta, with alpha, with alpha to have alpha beta as common denominator, right? So the answer is going to be 2 beta plus 2 alpha. 2 beta plus 2 alpha. As you can see, we have two terms up in the numerator with common factor 2. Let's take it. What left is beta plus alpha, right, over alpha beta. The answer is 2 times alpha plus beta. And alpha and beta are the roots of the original equation in x. So it's 2 times the sum of the roots. Alpha and beta is the sum of the roots in equation x. And alpha beta is the product in equation x this means we there is a need to go here and find the sum of those two roots which is which are alpha and beta alpha plus beta is the sum and we can say the sum is minus b over a and since we know what is a over here which is one the coefficient of x square and b is the coefficient of x and c which is minus four and c is the coefficient the constant coefficient right so the minus b, if b is minus 4, the minus b is 4, and the a is 1, so the sum is 4. And the product in x is equal to alpha times beta, right? Which is equal to c divided by a, and c here is minus 9, and a is 1, so it's minus 9 over 1. The answer is minus 9. We go back over here because we found the sum and the product in x. 2 times sum, and sum is 4, so it's 2 times 4, divided by the product, which is minus 9. The answer is 8 divided by minus 9, which is minus 8 over 9. This is the sum of equation y we need to find, right? I still need to go and find the product 
of equation y in order to form this equation, to find this equation. Product means pro product of the roots, and the roots are given as 2 over alpha, 2 over beta. Remember, we multiply them, 2 over alpha, 2 over beta. So 2 times 2 is 4, numerator times numerator, denominator times denominator. What is 4 over alpha beta? It's 4 over product of the roots in x, right? Product of the roots in x. It's 4 divided by the product of the roots in x. We found it as minus 9. So the answer is going to be minus 4 over 9. This is the product of the roots in y that we needed. Now we can form the equation, which is y squared minus sy plus p equals 0. It's y squared minus sum is minus 8 over 9, sum in y, right? So it's plus 8 over 9y plus the product and the product in y is minus 4 over 9 equal to 0 and you remember it's better not to write it in fraction so multiply the whole equation with 9 it's going to be 9y squared plus 8y minus 4 equal to 0 if you want to have it in x it will be 9x squared for sure plus 8x minus 4 equals 0 the same the same <clears throat> Let's see if we can do some uh, more. Um, let's try to do one more before the time is finished. Find alpha and beta such that, find alpha and beta such that alpha plus beta, this is a new example, okay, is equal to 7, and alpha times beta is equal to minus 3. I have to find these alpha and beta. What are alpha and beta? If I multiply them, I have 7. If I add them, I have minus 3. What is alpha plus beta? It's sum. What is alpha times beta? It's product. So can we form a quadratic equation x squared minus sum x plus p equals 0, knowing the sum and the product of the roots? For sure. Right? For sure. We can form this quadratic equation. Sum is 7. So x squared minus sum is 7. So it's 7x plus product minus 3 because the product is minus 3 equal to 0 this quadratic equation so he gave me alpha and beta he gave me two roots so the roots exist and he said their sum is 7 and their product is minus 3 so we formed a quadratic equation using sum and the product we replaced just the sum we know which is 7 over here instead of s and instead of p minus 3 we found the quadratic equation if we have quadratic equation we can find delta for sure delta is equal b squared minus 4ac and b here is minus 7, so it's minus 7 to the power 2, minus 4 times a here is 1, and c here is minus 3. So it's going to be 49 plus 12, the answer is 61, which is greater than 0. This means we have two distinct and real roots, two distinct and real roots. That's great. What are these roots? These roots are alpha and beta. What is alpha? It's minus b, which is minus of minus 7, then the answer is plus 7, minus radical delta, over 2 times a which is 2 times 1 and beta because he he said from the beginning find alpha and beta same but in this this time radical 61 over 2 if you have time and you want to check you can check if this is true how add them add these two alpha and beta 7 minus radical 61 divided by 2 plus 7 plus radical 61 divided by 2 since we have same denominator which is 2 we can directly add them minus radical 61 plus radical 61 is 0 7 plus 7 is 14 and 14 divided by 2 is 7 and this is correct because it's given the sum from the beginning is given as 7 and the product is given as minus 3 this means if i multiplied the the roots i got um, i'm going to get right if i multiply the roots i'm going to get minus 3 7 minus radical 61 divided by 2 into 7 plus radical 61 divided by 2. Let's multiply them. It's a minus b up in the numerator into a plus b. Denominator for sure it's 2 times 2 is 4. Numerator it's 49 minus 61. The answer is going to be simply minus 12 divided by 4. And it's going to be 2 minus 3. Also it's correct. And see you next video.